Well, the first thing I want to talk about today, you know, I'm kind of known as the weather ranger or the weather bug. As most of you know, I have written uh, weather declarations for years, and I think what got me started on all of this is like when I was like four years old, uh, my family went through a huge tornado. So since then, uh, every cloud that comes, I'm, I'm like watching. And, you know, now we've got weather apps and the weather is on 24 uh, seven. So I'm, I'm all about it. But I, I just want to say this, it's 12 degrees today. And I can't tell you how I don't do 12. And then not only is it 12 degrees here, there's ice everywhere. So this weather bug doesn't do ice either. So today I called uh, Stephanie and uh, kind of bribed her with lunch today if she would come get me. Now she's got a Jeep, she's got these humongous tires. And uh, so I said, hey Steph, uh, uh, I'll buy lunch if you'll come get me and take me to run errands because I can't even get out of my driveway. So she did. So all is well. It's freezing, and but we're going to make it. But here's what I really want to say. Uh, I begin to look at the characteristics of this new Hebrew month that we're about to uh, cross over into. I, th I think it's on uh, Saturday. And so looking through the characteristics of the month of Adar, the overall theme is happy. And I can't tell you how I need some happy right now in this temperature ice thing that we're going through. In fact, it is called a polar vortex. I wrote a decree, of course. Oh yes, I did. Studied that polar vortex and sent out a uh, decree. So, but if we ever needed happy, it would be right now. In fact, that would be a great song. Maybe one of you all will write a little song if we ever needed happy. It would be right now. Now, happy, just a definition of happy, would be joyful, um, favored, blessed, pleased, contented, satisfied, confident. And, and happy is a sure thing. It's a, it's a thing. Happy is a thing. It is not an emotion based on circumstances. Now check this out. 1 Timothy 1.11 says, according, he's just talking away, and he said, according to this glorious gospel of the blessed God. Well, I looked up that word blessed and, and it is from a Greek word because, you know, we just, in the church, we use blessed all the time. Well, this is blessed, and you are blessed, and that is blessed, and oh, this is blessed information, whatever. We just use it, but it comes from a Greek word. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I would need Lisa to help me, although it's not Hebrew, but it's Greek. Uh, macaroni. Well, no, that's not right. It's not macaroni. Macaroni, macrora. M-A-K-A-R-I-O-I. And it means blessed or, check it out, it means happy. So, 1 Timothy 1.11 says, This glorious gospel of a happy God. 
and I just want to talk about it. In spite, now check it out, in spite of God's anointed angel, Lucifer, who led an assault on heaven, in spite of Adam's fall, in spite of Abraham's mishaps, in spite of David's sin, in spite of Peter's mouth, God stayed happy because God is a happy God. In Deuteronomy 33, here, here's what it says, and of course the paraphrase is mine. It says, happy are you. Your enemies shall be found liars, and you shall tread on their high places, and I can't tell you how I'm happy about that. Psalm 146, 5 says, happy is he that has God for his help and whose hope is in the Lord, his God. Now that's something we can be happy about, even when it's 12 degrees. Now this is my favorite happy verse. Acts chapter 26, uh, one and two. Then King Agrippa said to Paul, you're permitted to speak for yourself. And then Paul, and you can just picture it, Paul stretched out his hand and he answered for himself. And here's what he said. I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I shall answer for myself concerning the things I'm accused for. He was happy about it. I'm happy about it. But here's what we've got to watch out for, and I'm just going to call them happy zappers. Say it, happy zappers. We can't let the happy zappers get to us. And here's a few. They're pretty obvious, especially with the swirl of things going on right now. Here's some happy zappers. Stress, chaos, worry, unforgiveness, trauma, pain, disorder, confusion, anxiety. And you can fill in your own blanks there. But remember what we said, happy is a sure thing. Adar, the Hebrew month, the word adar means strength, good fortune, and joy. Can you believe it? Now that word just happy, remember we talked about the word that uh, bless came from, which means happy. And happy comes from a root word, hap, H-A-P, which comes from an uh, Old Norse language. Hap means une an unexpected good event to cover up warmly. So here's what Deanne and I want to say to you today. Deanne and I cover you with happy. We wrap you like a warm blanket with happy. We bless you with happy. We say let the unexpected good happy events begin right now. Remember, God is a, is a happy God. I, I tell you what, it makes me happy saying this God that, that I serve, that we all love and worship is a happy God. Jesus said, my father and I are one spirit. Jesus and God are one spirit. Paul said this, Christ in me, the hope of glory. John said, as he is, so are we in this world. So dare we say, we are happy because the 
happy God abides in us. Now listen, I'm letting that, and I want you to let that thought absolutely displace all the happy zappers because like they're everywhere. You can get zapped anywhere, all the time. You just have to be aware of it. But if we'll let the thought that that happy God abides in us, and if we meditate on it until it changes the way we think, here's what we're going to be saying. We're going to be saying what Paul said. I think myself happy. Listen, Deanne, our, we, we are happy to call you our friends. Happy to call you our partners. Happy to call you our intercessors. Happy to call you our encouragers. We are happy to serve you and the Lord in whatever way we can. And we want to say we thank you for your faithful support. We thank you for your faithful prayers. We thank you that you have stood faithfully when the odds have been against you. So our prayer at the beginning of this significant Hebrew month of a jar of which we are celebrating it on Valentine's Day. It seems to be perfect when we say happy Valentine's Day.